Hey guys, in this video we will learn how to use Retrofit. First of all, what is Retrofit? Retrofit is a very popular networking library for Android and Java. With the help of uh, Retrofit, we can uh, send and retrieve data to our web services. So guys, in this example, uh, I will use uh, this uh, JSON placeholder. This is a free fake API for testing and prototyping. And if you scroll down, uh, uh, I will put these two links in the description. So uh, if you scroll down, uh, we have uh, multiple types of requests here. So I will open this uh, first one, the post. And as you can see, uh, this is our uh, JSON uh, array. So from this uh, JSON uh, data, we will only fetch the title and body in our Android application. And I will show you the output of this example. So at the end of this video, we will uh, get something like this. This is a uh, card view and this is the title and the body. And uh, we will show our uh, response in a uh, recycler view. Okay. And this is the official uh, getter page of Retrofit. And if we go to the download and uh, you can see here, uh, you have to add the this, uh, this implementation in your uh, Gradle. So uh, open your Android Studio and I have already created a new project and create a new project. And one thing more, we have uh, converters here. Uh, here. Converters can be added to support other types. So uh, we will use the JSON converter in uh, this example. So uh, you have to add these two implementation in uh, Gradle. So you can pause the video if you want to write it down or uh, you can find it here in this uh, on this link. I will put this in these uh, two links in the description. Okay. So click on sync now. Okay. Uh, we are done here. And uh, the most important thing is we have to add the internal permission in our manifest. Okay because we are communicating with web services so we need the internet so don't forget to add the internet permission in your manifest okay so uh, we are here and uh, first of all i need to create a retrofit uh, instance but before that i need to create a layout so create a layout and i will name it uh, list item and this will be our card view item okay so click ok and i will change this to material card view Okay guys, so we are done here. We have created our list item. So now we have to create uh, an interface for our API. So I will name it API interface. Okay. But before this, we need to create a model class. And I will name it post. And we need the title and uh, body so i will add the two variables here string title and body and here one thing is uh, you have to create the same name as your json response so here if you can see here uh, this is the title and this is the body so if you want uh, if you want to change your variable name here so you you need to add uh, an annotation of serialized name and you have to add the 
json response uh, name here okay so i don't want to change the variable name so i will uh, leave as it is okay so now we will create a constructor to create a constructor click on generate constructor and select both these and now we have to create our getters so generate getters select both and now our model class is uh, ready and uh, create a new class and name it retrofit retrofit client okay so this will be the singleton instance of retrofit but for first we need to add a private static final string here and we will name it base url so it will be our base url and i will paste the url the base url here sorry and our base url is We'll paste it here and below here we I will create a private static retrofit instance so I will name it retrofit and I will initialize it as null for no and I will create a method of which will return the our API interface so I will name it get retrofit retrofit client and we will check here if the retrofit is equal to null if our retrofit instance is null so we will create a new one if it is not null, so we will use the old one okay the previous one so uh, it is a singleton instance of retrofit so we will simply type retrofit and uh, equal to new retrofit dot builder and dot base url and pass the base url variable here so and we will add our converter factory here and as you know we are uh, using the json so simply type json converter factory dot create and the last one is built and outside this if statement return the retrofit dot create and pass our uh, interface here so our uh, retrofit uh, instance is created so now we have to create an adapter for our recycler view so i will name it uh, post adapter extend this with recycler view dot adapter and pass your post adapter sorry post adapter dot view holder okay so press alt enter and create the view holder class and extend this class with recycler view dot view holder and again press alt enter and implement this method okay so move it down we have a space and implement all these three methods here so first we need to create a private list of post and alt enter to import this I will name it post list create a constructor and pass this post list here okay and the, in this method just return the post list dot size and here we have to initialize our text views as we have created in our list item so i will name it tv title text view tv body okay tv body and here we will initialize these two text views item view dot uh, find view by id or dot id tv title and the second one will be tv body 
equal to item view dot and find view by id or dot id dot tv body so our text views are initialized here and now we uh, have to inflate our layout here the list item layout here so create a view is equal to layout inflator dot form parent dot get context and inflate pass the layout here so our layout is r dot layout dot list item okay second pass the parent group and false then now we will return the new view holder and pass the view here okay so now our okay uh, one thing more in the on bind we have to set our text to our text views okay so tv title dot set text and we will use the post list dot get position and uh, get title and for body tv body dot set text post list dot get position and dot get body okay now our adapter class is ready now we have to add a recycler view here in our main activity so i will just delete this text view and just search for recycler view okay and we have the recycler view here and just add the constraint so we need a progress bar so we will add it here and we will vertically horizontally sorry we have to do it manually okay just delete this text view okay simply delete this okay uh, we have our recycle and we will invisible this so visibility gone now our in our main activity right now we have to initialize the recycler view we we'll name it recycler view and our progress bar we we'll name it progress bar and uh, a linear layout manager for our recycler view our adapter post adapter and i will name it adapter and our list of post and i will name it post list and i will initialize it the new array list okay so now we have to initialize our recycler view find view by id dot id recycler view and recycler view let me check okay we need to add an id here of the recycler view change this progress bar to, to progress bar now go back to cycle view Set layout manager and pass the layout manager here. And now you have to initialize our adapter. So new post adapter and pass our post list here. 
then we will set this adapter to our recycling bin. So set this adapter, sorry. Okay, now we have to call a method here, which posts. So we will create this method outside our on create method. So our private void fetch posts. We have to call our retrofit here. So a retrofit client dot retrofit dot sorry we have to add a uh, get invitation and we will pass the endpoint as post as you can see we have the endpoint of forward slash posts okay so we know this we will call list of posts get post now we will implement this here get post dot callback and here in <coughs> on response we will check if response dot is successful and response dot body is not equal to null so we will proceed we will add the this response to our post list response our body and uh, we will notify the adapter that some changes occur and first of all we need to show our progress bar so to show progress set visibility visible and here progress bar progress bar set visibility gone and everything works fine and on failure we just we will show a toast message here if any error occurs so t dot get message and also okay so we are done and now we will run our application so run the app okay so everything was fine and as you can see here this is our recycler view and this is our card view and uh, we are fetching our json so that's it guys for this video and if you like this video please share this video with your friends and also hit that like button and if you are new to my channel then subscribe to my channel